And uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is Friedrich with another turn resolution of, uh, or two, of War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. And we're here uh, September 18th, 1942. Let's see what we're going to have going on today. All right, the I-19 fired at one of our minesweepers that's patrolling. Uh, I probably <clears throat> these could probably be used better elsewhere, but I don't have any uh, mines to uh, sweep. <laughs> so we're just running around, um, running around doing some ASW. He fires two torpedoes. The I-19 does. And we fire back, but get no hits. All right, Sturgeon firing at a destroyer. That'd be a nice target to destroy. And we're here in shallow waters, um, so that's not ideal for us. Um, Okay, so moving on. All right, I have some night bombing here at Mike uh, Tartungu because he has some fighters there. I also have night bombing at Buna. And it looks like we're having some issues finding our targets. Oh, this is not, not good. Now he has zeros flying nightcap. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to skip through this, but we are damaging his zeros, so we destroyed one of them, it looks like. At least one, I should say. Um, uh, it says two here. All right. <laughs> Uh, this is precarious. Now, his zeros didn't in, uh, try anything that time. And we're not, we're not doing too hot here. Well, I should say we're not doing too hot with our bombs. The gunners are doing amazing work here. Um, well, it's fun seeing our fortresses shooting down zeros in the night oh they're done already i'm trying i want to watch this and see if we hit anything on the nope still not hitting anything on the ground but we're wearing these bomber uh, these fighters out all right still nothing i mean not even damage the runway um well i'm not paying attention to the uh Weather. It is overcast, nighttime. Mm, Two thirds moonlight. I, I don't know. All right. So our bombers are doing better. Um, the gunners are doing better than the bombardiers, so I'll just say that. <clears throat> Whoa! Five... Okay, so we damaged some recon. Now it says five damage. It could be one aircraft damaged, you know, given five damage uh, ticks or whatever the word is. Now seeing these zeros at nightcap means our uh, P-38s might be okay. By the way, I've moved them to Cooktown, uh, and they're resting, so I should be able to fly cap next turn. Well, I'm uh, sorry, sweep over um, Buna. Yeah, I mean... Well, we destroyed one aircraft, damaged a couple more. 
Um, okay. Uh, our night bombing in, in uh, Bur Burma did not go at all. And Truant, I'm, I'm just saying, Truant is just here to absorb damage. Just in case you were unaware why it's in the game still, it's just to be a pincushion for these Japanese destroyers. Now that's one of the longer night, uh, night, uh, what did, what do I want to say? Phase? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> night segment. I'll, I'll call it segment. That was the longest night segment I've seen in a long time. All right. We didn't get a beat on I-25, but he also didn't waste any time trying to fire at us. So that's probably one of the reasons it was able to get away. Now, he spotted our carriers. <clears throat> All right, he still has a lot of aircraft capping uh, Tungu, but I... Uh, just so you know, my goal was to hit this with night bombing and uh, try to do something to the base and or airplanes parked there. But as you saw during the night action, nothing flew to hit these. So, so now our Warhawks are um, trying to do something, but they're in over their heads. So. All right, this could take a long time because there's a lot of aircraft on both sides. I don't even want to know how many losses we're going to have here. Um, so, according to this, two destroyed Tojos, we lost a lot of Warhawks. So, it's probably time to, well... All right, I have some carriers coming this way to fly cap here. Maybe catch them off guard again. Helens? What are Helens doing? Bombing troops. <laughs> I guess he's running out of airplanes. Yeah, this is just to suppress this base again. It looks like he's starting to get some repairs, and I don't like it. Okay, <clears throat> just like the other one, this is um, going to be a bad trade, I'm sure. So I'm just going to push through this and, um, yeah, as expected.
Okay, so we got a Mark 14 to work here. Um, that's good. I don't know if it'll sink it. It says on fire. Troops are on board. <clears throat> uh, but he could always collect them with this one. My thinking is if this doesn't sink, it will probably, it's close enough to Japan, he may send it back, um, unload it, and, and recover the vessel. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> get through these bombardments here. Wow, this is the this is pretty heavily damaged uh, Japanese units here. That's a lot of disabled. All right, this is so that we can see what he has here, and it looks like uh, it looks like it's good we didn't do anything because he has a full nice division fresh division here this tank division is pretty beat up and of course the where's the other one he snuck it out of there he's got another division but I think he escaped um, okay well he has more guns than we have here but if he wants to stay there I think that's gonna be something he's gonna um, not want to do for long All right, I, I like the idea of keeping these, <clears throat> even the cargo ships upgraded because, I mean, with some decent flak, we could an aircraft uh, cover. You know, we can um, affect his bombing accuracy, so the, that helps a lot. All right, I'm in the area, not that I'm going to talk about it uh, that I know of, but I'm in the area of the scene of the crime here where a lot of this air-to-air -air stuff happened. Now, we did have some stuff over Buna, but let's let's look at what we got here. 23 to 29. <clears throat> so this happened to be in our favor, surprisingly. I thought, and I'm sure we lost a bunch of P-40s, but and I'm sure this will be mostly zeros. But I'm curious to know how many Oscars and Tojos he lost. But let's get to that here. <clears throat> and this seems a little crazy because this is, okay, see this, 16 plus 18. Oh, what am I looking at? That's total. All right, never mind. Um, <clears throat> so 29. Hey, look at this. Uh, well, the zeros he lost over Buna, look at the, see, we lose 22 P-40s to 8. So I really need to get these Ks online because the P-40K is going to hopefully finally compete with these guys. One, I can sweep a lot higher than with the P-40E. Um, <clears throat> we lost a lot. It, basically, we just lost way more than, we, than I would have liked. If our night bombing had gone, it would have been a much better um, result. How do you know these things are going to happen? Now, in real life, could we have said, okay, let's cancel the sweeps because the night missions didn't go? Uh, certainly, but this just, yeah. Uh, so I'm very frustrated, maybe with myself as much as anything, because, uh, again, I was hoping to soften the targets and then sweep. It is what it is. Um, 
So he loses a Betty to Ops. That's probably the long-range bombing in um, the Gilberts. The Nate, uh, he lost on the ground, as well as this Oscar at Buna. And by the way, that's right. He lost an Oscar at Buna. These two he lost at Buna. So that means he only lost one Oscar to Ops flying cap over. <clears throat> so technically he only lost seven aircraft total over T Tungu. Uh, this was a three to one loss ratio. I mean, that's terrible. And I'm sure we lost way too many pilots as a result. Uh, 12 total, 13 here, but six just gone, never to come back. Hopefully we get some of these MIA guys. Ah, uh, frustrating. I don't know. Um, just frustrating. All right, so I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm basically done here for, for now. Let's jump into September 19, and we'll talk... Uh, even more after that. And we're here on September 19, 1942. Back for the second part of the video. I hope my night bombings go, even if they're a little, uh, what's the word? See, this is just come on guys they didn't go uh, frustrating they didn't go yesterday they probably they don't go today well i do have some sweeps but man i need these bombing raids to go i, I listen i know it's nighttime but still come on that's just mm. Well, his went, but, you know, we sh shut down a Nell, so that's good. Uh, these aren't even real night fighters, but um, we'll take it. I'm not sure about this 36 fighters. We only have 24 or 25, maybe 23 even, um, flying cap there. He's rotating. He had zeros yesterday. Now he has nates. He's rotating, I guess. Maybe uh, damaged aircraft, tired <clears throat> pilots, whatever reason. Um, but I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm just going to knock it out here. I'm hoping the bombing itself. We got a Tojo. Um, that's nice. Okay. And again, I'm just going to knock this out. We sh shut down a Nate, maybe more. And as soon as we can get supplies up here to Portland Roads, that allows us to use uh, extended range. I mean, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Uh, tanks, external tanks, I will be doing that very, th uh, I'll be flying our P-38s on sweep. Uh, we'll do, and then we'll start doing daylight raids. So our Burma attacks, it looks like aren't going to go again. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> Man, that's frustrating. Okay, we're, we're certainly damaging something on the ground, if not destroying. Yep, oh, our Burma bombings di still didn't go. Um, yeah. What I'll probably do is shift to daylight raids and just do more sweeps. I'm not sure why I did that, skipped through that, but I think he was, I think we were too deep for his stuff anyway. Now he's replaced the I want the I thirty two with the I thirty five, 
we still don't know if we destroyed the I-32. We're, we're told we did. But <clears throat> the it you know it could be he just pulled back to repair. In any case, we have the I-35 here. Um, so my ASW is back to work. <clears throat> Um, we did get one um, glancing blow. Uh, probably did nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Well, he certainly knows where we are now. If he didn't before. All right. Now, again, I wish our bombing had worked. Oh, that's... I don't know why I'm so frustrated. Because I guess it's because it's two days in a row that we... Um, had no showing. Uh, I'm going to watch this for a few seconds because we got the K's in the action for the first time. I'm kind of curious how they'll perform. So far, not bad. Certainly better than the E's. Um, but we're also, because we're able to rotate our air units, um, well, actually not that effectively, but <clears throat> we are able to rotate some, to some degree. You know, it could be we're wearing these guys out to the enemy pilots. Well, I'm going to push through this because I don't understand. Like, sometimes it just looks like he's just hammering away at us and we're, take and we're not firing back. I don't know how these mechanics work, but this is certainly a better trade than yesterday with the P-40Es. And uh, he came in to bomb us, and we have these guys on long-range cap. To hopefully shoot some of these sallies down. Um, I mean, if you're going to use all your fighters to cap Tungu, you know, you probably better not bomb uh, somewhere. Alright, this is also maybe one of those that uh, is precarious. I'm just going to knock it out. We didn't shoot down any more sallies. Just the first one, I think. And then... Um, and we, you know, uh, we're, we're, uh, <laughs> we were able to do some damage prop possibly from flak as well as, uh, our fighters. All right. Our flak is very busy here over Rangoon. Guess he's got Helen's busy over here hitting Tungu. Alright, these Hurricane 2 C's should be a match, but uh doesn't look like they are so far. All right, this is another one I'm going to just knock out because part of it's just frustrating to watch and part of it's um, the, it, it just goes on and on and on. <clears throat> oh, 
Hold. Hitting the air base still. Now, uh, uh, for a second there, I was thinking about the low value of hits, but it is uh, severe storms over um, Tulagi. All right, uh, these are ships coming in from uh, the Burma operation, and they're heading into Colombo. So uh, the I-35, of course, intercepts on our way in. Let's see if we can do something to it. So far, it's not looking promising. I think I saw one glancing blow earlier. But otherwise, we're just right now just rattling. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no, we didn't even hit it uh, with one. So they were; those were all just rat some rattles. Um, yeah, so he has two divisions here. We have two divisions here, as well as a brigade. So, uh, the problem is our sweeps aren't I, I have to just keep the night bombing on. I'll do it again. <clears throat> Same thing. Uh, this time I may rest. We'll see. We'll see if I can send up some f uh, more sweeps there in, in Burma. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. All right. So, <clears throat> pardon me. We did lose 18. Nine ops losses is uh, a little high. Now, it could be our night raids. I don't know. I may have to shut those down. But we lost 18. He lost 25. 
uh, so a little bit more than we did. Now let's see. Um, all right, these Nates were pretty wrecked over uh, Port Mor. I mean Buna. So I I'm not happy with that because I don't want our bombers to be getting all the kills, and then we're just losing fighters uh, against these. Look, he lost seven at most against our 15. I just I just don't get it. Like what's like what's going on here with these Oscars and Tojos that our fighters are that poor. Now, maybe he has his absolute best pilots flying here and that's quite possible. I mean, maybe I just have to wear him down through attrition. Um and that's fine. We'll we'll keep pressing. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's see. We also lost two uh, C-47s and a Catalina. Anyway, you can see the situation here. It's just kind of frustrating. He does lose a Sally on the uh, to Flak and a uh, Tojo on the ground. Actually, he lost two. Uh, technically, I mean, if you just go air to air, he lost five. We lost nine over Burma so okay um well I need to check the pilots but just a second here um we we heard a ship sink but we don't know what it is right now all right um we lose a total of nine pilots I I really can't be well ten I really can't be playing around with that uh, I don't like that man it's just what a, this is why my night bombing has to hit because I have to wear this these aircraft parked here out. <clears throat> All right, we got here. I'm gonna do a bombardment because I want to see what he has here, and we'll do an attack if we need to. Uh, I want to move. Sorry, I'm jumping into Burma because that's kind of the topic or the area where I wanted to talk about first. So I just jumped here before uh, thinking about it. Uh, this armored unit is basically heading straight to this hex here. And then the idea is to cut this in half. Um, and then we can, uh, this guy, these guys will be out of supply. He won't be able to rail out any damaged fighters. And uh, we can uh, also start um, figuring out how to take this hex from him. Um, but it's going to take several days. Probably, I'm going to just roughly say, let's see, this is clear, fortunately. So I'm going to say it's going to take roughly, um, four days. Maybe six, maybe six. Um, I'm not going to attack this just yet because I don't know what it is. So we'll just bombard it and kind of get a feel. This unit is just holding and we're sending, um, this uh, tank unit into um, this hex where we can, and it's clear, so we should be able to easily knock that out. Uh, we have it completely cut out of supply, surrounded. <clears throat> Speaking of supply, we're still unloading Akyab and trying to get supplies into these, some of these bases here as well. I don't know, but it looks like um, it looks like we're not in a position. This whole situation is uh, kind of upsetting. Um, because a, I need some more supplies. I need to get some more supplies before I can get these aircraft um replenished um <clears throat> i don't know this is becoming its own challenge um it's almost like by winning and pushing him down here we actually caused our own um difficulties uh he escaped from mole mine that's fine what i'm gonna do is pull back not too far um, <clears throat> but hopefully out of range of his um, bombers 
three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, maybe here. He'll still probably spot us, but. All right, I'm not 100% sure why it's curving like that. Okay, we'll just go straight up like that. But again, there again, I don't understand why I was doing that weird shaped um, thing all right anyway we're just gonna come up here and then that way if we see him uh, and we'll see if he spots us when we're out of there when we're out out here if he doesn't we'll loiter here until we see him come again and then we'll come hit him <clears throat> uh, I think that's the play there uh, in the meantime, our ships are still not yet at port, but that's okay. We'll get them there This probably this uh, next turn. Um, all right, that's enough about this area. I, I'll have to tinker with this uh, off, uh, uh, off the video, after the video, after recording. Um, all right, let's just start back here um i don't feel the need to take this yet don't feel the need to take these some of these dot bases main thing right now is uh, dropping you know troops like this off um really reinforcing this he didn't come bomb it again i wonder if he no we're here does he no. well he wouldn't have known anyway so I've been resting my fighters, but I'm going to um, long range cap. <clears throat> I don't know what he's been flying at. Maybe it was. Maybe this is fine. And we'll just sweep or cap this for a day. Um, You know, I don't need all of these aircraft. So why don't we say... Um, let's just do 50 percent so so our air well that'll be 12 that's fine um we'll see how that does if he bombs us it's just going to be with bombers so a handful of fighters will be adequate to um keep that from happening again uh i need to review what i'm doing down here uh because i've been bombing his air base well it looks like the airfield needs even more damage um i may go in another bombing raid there the night raids have not been as successful as i'd like the airfield damage is only four and he he keeps flying out of here um also the supply is only up to 2200 let's just check this out i still don't have enough supply for drop tanks i think isn't it i can't remember if it's 10,000 or but <clears throat> so i'm going to need some more supply here um which is one of the reasons i'm trying to get my troops out of there is to keep from them from eating all the supply that's that it's parked here and one of the problems with moving them down is as they move down the road they're going to be burning supplies that need to work up the road but anyway i i certainly don't need all these troops parked at portland roads um i think virtually all of them are coming to cans and then we're gonna um figure out where they go next maybe to townsville for an invasion up here i don't know but this is not on my radar if he wants to hold that for the rest of, you know he for a long time he can because i'll i assume i'll park somewhere up here maybe even take Maroc back and these guys will just 
die over time. Um, but yeah, so uh, just to make sure. So I don't have anything to talk about over here. I don't have anything to talk about in Australia, any, anything more. Um, and so let's head up past the Dutch East Indies. We talked about Burma and um, <clears throat> yeah, just uh, it's been a, it's a little again, it's a little lackluster what's going on up here. The night bombing is frustrating me. And now at least we have a bit more light. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll rest all my aircraft. Maybe I'll rest all my fighters and just wait for that elusive night bombing to go through um, before I do any more missions. Um, because he can keep flying cap here. He can wear his fighters down. down that's fine. Um, all right. Uh, and we do have some fighters here that I can use, um, but they're, they're kind of depleted. Um, this, yeah, I might have to upgrade this. Okay, that's why, um, I need more supplies here. That's why I couldn't upgrade it. Actually, I need a higher level base as well. Um, <clears throat> okay. Anyway, enough rambling about that. And then China is is what it's been for several months now. Um, well, that kind of wraps it up. I know it's just kind of a lot of nothing. I guess I can talk uh, briefly about what subs. I know we had a little uh, something happen up in here where we I think whiffed. I don't know. It felt like that happened, but, <laughs> um, oh, I also, I did mean to come down here, uh, and look at the Truand here. Uh, remember when we took some, um, hits, depth charge hits the other day? Well, it looks like <clears throat> we just took 12 damage, system damage. Again, I don't know the value of these British boats because they haven't done anything of real value to me. Maybe hit a ship or two, including I know they did hit a light cruiser, but probably just a little bit of damage to send it back uh, for repairs. Uh, but really, a pound for pound, these British subs have done less than the Mark 14 American subs. So I'm uh, very disappointed, but they're sitting here patrolling here. Maybe if nothing else, they're uh, they're like a scare tactic because it's they're probably more effective um, as a threat than as a real um, weapon. All right, I think uh, that kind of uh, covers the some of the stuff I would want to talk about. Um, I can talk in more detail another. Uh, you know, when when something uh, either of something important is about to happen or has happened, um, and I'll, I'll try to <clears throat> I'll try to make uh, the next turn a bit more interesting. But we'll we'll see you next time for September 20. Take care, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.